eastbound Foothill Boulevard from Michelinda. He looks like he's doubling back. Southbound on Rosemead. Southbound Rosemead going underneath the freeway. I wonder if he's going to pop out the other side. Oh, he's getting back on westbound. He's getting back on the westbound 210. Tim. You don't have him out there? Okay, okay. Hey, guys. Sorry about all the tenseness. Everybody's talking at me today. We're in a backup helicopter. Radios are a little scratchy. And, uh, you know, it's everybody expects me to be here <laughs> when it happens. Anyways, we are here, and that's what it, what counts, I guess, in the end. There are no units behind it. When I, you know, I'm talking to you guys on the net, I, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. There's no black and whites. Nobody's really right behind this vehicle. They are following it, though. It's a sheriff's helicopter, and uh, the California Highway Patrol is aware of what's going on. Older Suburban, probably, I'm sorry, older Tahoe, probably in about the 2000s, maybe 2002, uh, we're, we're just approaching Pasadena, westbound 210 freeway, coming up on San Gabriel. <clears throat> These are one of the ones that are kind of interesting in its own self because you got that helicopter right there, but you've got no uh, nobody behind it, no black and whites, and we've got to go do we got to do television. So we'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Well, that's right, and you know, they, we just heard hearing them talk about it. Apparently, it started out as reckless driving, then at excessive speed, and then and also reckless driving. There you go. The vehicle's really starting to pick up some speed again. We're westbound 210. We've watched this car get off this, this uh, actually, I believe it's a Tahoe, get off the freeway, get back on the freeway. Westbound 210 freeway, high speeds. Uh, just really weird driving. That's the only thing. And, you know, something that we really noticed that's interesting about this one is that the Sheriff's ship is overhead. California Highway Patrol, they're calling it out, but we don't see any of the units from California Highway Patrol behind them you know, with the reds and blues and the all lit up. So it, we also know there they are. They're starting to come into the picture. Uh, we also know that this thing started in the Whittier area, so it's been going on for a little bit. He came up northbound on the 605. Now, higher speeds, lower speeds, that indicates that this person maybe maybe not is is with his uh, f faculties this evening. Uh, you can see something reflecting there in the, in the passenger seat. We're wondering if maybe he's uh, making some phone calls there or, it's, or something, something like that going on. The vehicle speeds up and slows down. Now we're back in that number two lane. Looks like he's starting to creep back over. Maybe he's going to go more and more to the right. We have seen him get off the freeway in the past. We might see him do it again. California Highway Patrol behind this car, this Tahoe, bigger vehicle, and this chase still continues. When we first picked it up, we were it started on the 605, then we were trying to get to it, and then it got onto the 210 westbound. He got off at McMillan, and if you know that area out there, that off-ramp, kind of a long, windy deal that takes you out onto Foothill Boulevard, and that's basically what he did. He just kind of drove real slow along that off-ramp, drove up onto Foothill Boulevard, made another turn, and got back onto the westbound 210 freeway. It does appear that there's a passenger inside that vehicle with this uh, driver this evening, uh, still moving around, definitely established in Pasadena right now. We're going to see if we're going to continue on the 210 or work our way over to the 134. But you can see now California Highway Patrol making their presence really known on the ground. you got a couple of those units right there lighting it up. And it does appear that we're going to be taking that 210 where we go behind, like over by uh, by the, the Rose Bowl and out towards the La, uh, La Crescenta area. Now he's starting to use some of those center lanes, getting a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more speed. Uh, that light from the helicopter, I don't even really know if he realized it's there, but that's from the Sheriff's Department, uh, California Highway Patrol, they're on the ground, heavy vehicle, maybe some kind of impaired driver, and we're just guessing that because of the way he's driving, reckless driving, that's the original reason why they wanted to pull this guy over. Yes, yes.
getting to La Cunada. La Cunada Flinridge. Yeah, we're getting really close. We're in La Cunada. Okay. No, no, we're on the 210. This is La Cunada Flint Ridge. Well, but still the same kind of driving. We're westbound on the 210, just passing Foothill. So we're getting in the La Crescenta, uh, La Crescenta uh, Flint Ridge area. Uh, this vehicle just kind of just moving along. You can see that uh, other people getting out of his way this uh, evening. And again, we're just using that verbiage as a male. We don't know if it's a male or a female driver. California Highway Patrol still behind them there, lights and sirens. And they're actually talking about, they're basically doing that switching out thing that we learned about with the uh, California Highway Patrol. They're going from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Uh, right now, they, the Altadena units, those were the ones that were behind them earlier on, uh, have dropped out, so they're, so they're being replaced now. Uh, I'm sorry, the Baldwin Park ones are being replaced by the Altadena units. Right now, you can see this vehicle still moving along at, at its own clip, just kind of keeping up the speed just a little faster than freeway. And if you know this area, they're doing road construction out here, so the lanes are a little bit narrow. Uh, we haven't seen this guy have any trouble with that yet. I haven't seen him push his way in or out of any of the traffic, but it doesn't. It, we're not saying he won't if he get if if push comes to shove. Continuing on the westbound 210, we just went, went by the uh, by the two right there. Uh, I just heard a number. I just want to double check that with what we're doing. Yeah, he's probably he's probably up there. I would guess that he's probably getting right about almost just under, just touching 100 miles an hour uh, in that big older suburban right there. And when I say older, I'm talking about a 2000. But you got to figure that's about a 15 year old vehicle. Uh, it's a heavy truck. They're great vehicles. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it does appear to be a passenger inside that vehicle tonight as well. This has been going on for a little bit. Started all the way down in the Whittier area on the 605, then on, and then on the 210, then off the 210, and then back on to the 210, and we've been on it for, for quite a bit. Right now, though, this car refusing to stop. California Highway Patrol in pursuit. Haven't seen that uh, spotlight from the sheriff's unit. There it is. Uh, so the helicopter still with us, uh, just out our door down low. Lighten this thing up. They're also making calls every now and then. If this guy gets off the freeway, then it, you know, then the helicopter might start calling off some of those streets. Also, the California Highway Patrol right behind it. This is their area. This is the area that they patrol. That's one of the reasons why they do those swap outs. So they know these roads. They also they're not just the freeways. They know what the roads are off the freeways as well. Right now, though, this car continuing on higher than way higher than freeway speeds. Uh, California Highway Patrol right behind it. If you drive this area and know, uh, know the uh, La Cunada Flint Ridge area, steep grade coming up. Uh, going up, we're probably expecting to see this car slow down. Going down the hill, he might start getting a little bit faster than even he's expecting. Yeah. La Crescenta, copy all.
the copy. Well, he's he's opening it up. He's actually going. Copy. Thank you. Well, you know, we were expecting him to slow down going up that hill, but he really, really put his foot in it. He actually got, actually was gaining speed going up that hill. You can see him passing those big rigs. Now, you know those big rigs, those are professional drivers. They're going to at least hold that speed limit. Everybody else on this road, well, you know what? I've driven the 210, especially this part, and, you know, 65, it's tough to go 65. You always want to go a little bit faster, wider lanes, big area. But right now, this car, truck, this, uh, this Tahoe, keeping its distance, LAPD, excuse me, the Sheriff's Department over Overhead, lighting it up. California Highway Patrol, they're behind it, but they're already thinking steps ahead. You were talking about maybe using a pit maneuver. They're not talking about that, but they're already talking about handing it off to the next group of uh, uh, California Highway Patrol officers. That's all the way out in the Newhall area. But we're continuing on now. Tahung is the area where we're at. These high speeds, we'll see where this goes. You'd Everybody knows 210 Freeway kind of dead ends over there by the 5. Where he makes that turn, what happens in that area, that's the, yet to be seen. Maybe even gets off the freeway. Right now, though, this truck still moving along at a very good clip, very dangerous. Uh, on the freeway this evening, light traffic, thank goodness for that. California Highway Patrol keeping an eye on it, keeping that safe distance. But this uh, chase definitely continuing. Copy. Hey, we're up on uh, on Freak 5 now. Uh, we're up on Frequency 5, up on Frequency 5. Hey, and uh, if you guys are still with us on the web, uh, hey, you know, it's been, it's been a night. I'm glad we got a couple of these pursuits going on. At least we've got something going to positive happening for us this evening. Uh, you look, this guy, I, I don't want to say it like that on, on, on television, but this guy, big truck. You know, definitely going to be a V8, probably 5.3 liter in there. Those are the earlier Vortex. But, you know, and you know that that thing is in good shape. When it was going up that hill, it was actually gaining speed. Uh, the California Highway Patrol, they're right behind it. Why am I talking about that car's the performance? Well, you know what? That's a, I can hear you, Lizzie. Two minutes. We, well, Sunland Tonga, yeah, but we're moving at 100 miles an hour down the 210. All right. Okay. So I'm switching back to KCAL. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm switching back to KCAL. Lizzie, I, I'm going to be on six for a little bit. i got to switch. Lakeview Terrace. Yes, I'm back, on, back with you guys. Okay. Copy. Lakeview Terrace, and we're going to be clicking past that pretty quick. You know, Silmar is coming up here just a moment. This Tahoe is really moving out, 100-plus on the on the freeway right now. I'm telling you, we spent just a moment or two trying to track it with the helicopter, but this vehicle, over 100 miles an hour on the 210, trying to avoid being pulled over by the California Highway Patrol. Copy. Back on five. Lizzie, I'm back with you. No problem. So, I Internet peeps, if you guys are still listening. 
And, you know, the reason why I brought it up is is a big vehicle. If this person is impaired and driving at these speeds, worried. I'm just worried. That's it. Straight out. Worried that something bad is going to Copy. I just hope that guy isn't on Facebook down there watching us on Facebook Live. I mean, just letting you know. Lizzie, we're in Silmar right now. We're safely in Silmar. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Does look like a bright light, maybe an iPad or an iPhone, some kind of something going on down there. Uh, so anyway, that's the reason why I'm worried. I'm concerned that this uh, heavy vehicle, impaired driver. If you're not impaired, why are you running? What? Just pull over. This is. Uh, but at any rate, 210 is going to start running out of freeway here in just a little bit. We're going to be at the five freeway. And we're going to know also the, the, some sharp turns coming up. Now, I, uh, I had one of these vehicles back when they were new. They were awesome, awesome, awesome truck. Probably still one of my favorite trucks I ever owned. What do you want to owe? Do you want me to set it up now? God, this is westbound pass in Hubbard. Oh, we should be in Oat now, in Oat. Well, you know, Oat down by Whit. No. <laughs> We're in Silmar. Thirty seconds. Okay. It will be the next one. Well, we'll see where he goes. Well, we're on the 210 freeway just passing Roxford. You can see that vehicle just getting into those center lanes. He's been using all lanes this evening. This started all the way down in the Whittier area, 605 freeway, 210 freeway. When we got over just for just getting over it, he actually got off the freeway for a moment there and then got back onto the freeway. So it's pretty unusual driving for sure. Don't know if this person's lost. Don't know really what's going on. We do know that this, there's two people inside the vehicle at least. We see a, pa a passenger every now and then when we're on the, on the correct side of the vehicle. And then we also know that this was originally wanted as reckless driving. It, and we have seen some reckless driving this evening. If we haven't passed Yarnell, we're going to be passing Yarnell here in just a moment. This is going to be westbound on the 210 freeway. A little bit of traffic this evening. Very high speeds at some times. And then also we sometimes go down to more normal speeds. There you saw the sign. So we're coming up on the freeway. Is he going to go north? Is he going to go south? It really doesn't make that much of a difference. California Highway Patrol is going to stay right behind him. There's one of the vehicles. You also see another CHP vehicle getting into the chase right there. There's a little swap out going on. Now that was going to be the Altadena uh, portion of the California Highway Patrol handing it off to the Newhall guys right now. So they're taking this thing over. But what the point is, is that right here on this transition, going to get very turned. He's going to do some turns. Uh, this is an older car. This is probably about a 15-year-old uh, Tahoe. Don't know what kind of condition it is in, but at 100 miles an hour at any high speeds, a truck like that is going to be difficult to, uh, to hold on to. Northbound 5 Freeway, that's going to be the transition. We're going to be heading through the Newhall Pass. California Highway Patrol on the ground. Helicopter giving us the light. That's going to be the Sheriff's Department. You know, the stolen part, we don't know. Uh, with the original want is, is going to be reckless driving. What is it? Well, it's probably about a 2000, 2003-ish uh, Tahoe. It's a Chevy Tahoe. That's pretty much for sure. Uh, they've been chasing it now for quite some time. That vehicle 
moving well into the uh, triple digits of speed. At one point, we were tracking it at 102 miles an hour. We heard the cal we heard the uh, helicopter saying moving at 100 miles an hour. Right now, though, going uphill again. You can see him passing all these vehicles here on the five freeway as we get into the Newhall Pass. Sometimes in this area people drive just a little bit faster than the freeway speed if you just admit it but uh, you can see those reds and the reds and blues they might be slowing down we see brake lights on the other cars coming on now he's starting to get over to the right a little bit that's not because he wants to get over we know there's road construction going on here as well but I'm gonna get a little bit of a wider shot just real quick to show you the number of California Highway Patrol that are behind it we've probably got about four or five of them and this is continuing on now as we're getting up into the Valencia area uh, uh, but this uh, chase just keeps going and going. This guy is starting to change some lanes a little bit radically. If he's going to get off here shortly because he's hugging the right side, well, now he's going back over the left. I was going to say it's Calgrove. But you can see what the California Highway Patrol has to deal with right there. Oh, they're running their reds and blues. Uh, the people, the civilians on the, on the roadway this evening, they're slowing down. They're moving over as they should. But uh, it might actually be, be blocking some of these officers as they're trying to get out of the way. Traffic is going to be slowing down that suspect. Hopefully, he doesn't do anything too radical. You know, the construction, I think he's actually gone past that already. We saw those cones up there. Uh, you know, I know that they are doing work out here on the 5 northbound, but you can see him basically using all the lanes out here, cutting around those uh, loops of traffic. California Highway Patrol, they've got the option. They're working both sides of this. But uh, there's more and more cars out here, which is a little interesting. And if this person is impaired, this could create some issues. And also, you see those blinkers going on, like that car that they're just passing right there. They see the reds and blues, and they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get over to the right side. And uh, when that happens, there might be cutting off some of the officers. I got to work with my pilot this evening here up in Sky, uh, Sky 2. And uh, But uh, we're continuing northbound. Going to be into the Valencia area here shortly. Pretty well established. And they're, you know, right now it's going to be Newhall is the uh, is the uh, officers for the uh, <laughs> officers from California Highway Patrol. It's going to be the Newhall division. Uh, but they're going to stay behind on it and the helicopter is going to stay above it. Well, you know, the size of the car right now, it, obviously everything is coming into play, and there's so much coming into play. What's the original want, where they can do this, uh, what devices, what what intervention can they uh, it, it do to bring this thing to a stop? Uh, the spike strips, he's moving pretty fast. It's, that's not the problem. The problem is how are you going to get ahead of him? Yes, they have radios. Yes, they could do something, but we've seen how the spike strips work, and the freeway, that's going to be about six lanes, uh, probably, if especially out here on the five. So it's throwing out that spike strip. There's a really good chance that he's going to be able to avoid that. Also, you don't want to have those spike strips hitting uh, other civilian vehicles or officers. So eh, maybe not. Uh, the pit maneuver, not at these speeds, not a chance. But if he gets off on, those, on the side streets, yeah, of course, that's definitely something that they might use. But again, we're just, we just watch what's going on out there. Those officers, they're working. And right now, we're keeping an eye on this, and we're kind of letting people know, hey, look, this chase is going on, northbound 5 freeway, really high speeds. If you've got a loved one out there in the area, and if this gets off the freeway, and there's someone in, that, in the area where he gets off, you might want to give them a heads up, especially if they have a loved one out on the road tonight. But look at this. California Highway Patrol, they have to keep up with this guy. So if he's doing 110, they're going to be doing about 110. He is really, really moving this evening, and that's an older truck. We've said it in the past. I mean, the good old Chevys, but uh, this uh, he's been really putting his foot in it. So you got to kind of wonder, gas mileage, how good of a vehicle this is. And, again, we're moving along, and if he continues this uh, direction, you're going to get up into the into the grades. That truck might slow down, but I also know Sky 9, we're going to lose our visual points, so we might have to back off.
But you, no, no, I was just going to say, we're just uh, we're actually discussing in my pilot tonight, Tim, he, he's, he's giving me the same information that we all already know. If he starts getting up into the into the grade, we're going to have to stop. Uh, the, the California Highway, the, excuse me, the Sheriff's Department, their helicopter may stay with it. The, of course, the ground units will follow along. Uh, just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not going to continue on. But you see what's going on right now. This guy is passing on the in the emergency lane on the shoulder in these high speeds and then kind of wonder what's going on on inside that truck, if, especially if there's two people. There's got to be some kind of conversation where the guy in the passenger seat is saying, hey, maybe we shouldn't be doing this, or you know, you know, really, where are we going with this? But right now, California Highway Patrol, they're going to stay with it. The 126, I know you're, you're talking about, they have the California Highway Patrol out there. Reinforcements? You know, they're going to keep the uh, the cars chasing it to a minimum. They're just going to use the vehicles that they need to keep this uh, to keep to keep the public safe and to stay with this vehicle that they're chasing this evening. So are we going to see, like, uh, Keystone cops with, like, 50 uh, cop cars behind it? No, not a chance. But uh, we're continuing on still about 100 miles an hour on the 5 freeway, the 126. Uh, I'm looking out the window, so it's still up ahead a little bit, but Castaic, it's also in, it, it, it coming up, and this vehicle just seems to stay be staying out here on the 5 right now, northbound. All right. No, they're definitely not slowing down. Actually, uh, they're, we're, we're actually speeding up a little bit, trying to do a little another push to catch up to it. Uh, I'm listening in on the uh, other conversations that are going on. And the Calif it's actually a California Highway Patrol helicopter, a CHP helicopter over it right now. I don't know if they did a swap out earlier on, but I know the Sheriff's Department was over it earlier. Uh, they're basically saying the same thing. It's, it, it's a part of flying that uh, when you don't have any reference points anymore, meaning the pilot looks out the window and it's all dark outside, you you don't know where the horizon is. That's when it becomes extremely dangerous to fly. Uh, the helicopter, the California Highway Patrol helicopter that's lighting them up, he's also going to turn around. But those ground units, no, they're not going to. They don't have to worry about that. They, that vehicle is planted pretty safely on the ground, and they don't have to worry about any ground reference. So they're going to keep with this truck uh, going up this hill. If he keeps pushing it like that, you know, we'll see what happens. And if he does conk out and we still see it, we'll be able to, to stay with it. But for right now, this is almost the area where we're going to start saying uh, we're slowing it down. We're going to keep with it with the camera. The camera's going to be able to follow it for a little bit. But as far as the Sky 2, sadly, uh, this is pretty much where we're going to start slowing it up. And we're going to park here. And it's just going to be the camera from uh, here on out. Well, it's, it's basically it's a safety uh, issue with the pilots. Uh, if you ever walked into a dark room and you're standing and you, you, you just you don't have any reference points and you get a little off, it's pretty much the same thing in the helicopter. In the daytime, you can see the horizon. You can see this. You know, you know what is up and what is right and what is left. But if you're in the darkness, and it is, it's very, very dark up here on the hillsides, uh, there is no reference. And uh, the uh, Sky 9... We, you know, there's, it gets a little, little more comp. Excuse me, Sky Two. It gets a little bit more complicated with the uh, instruments. We, of course, we have them, but uh, we, we're not rated to fly like that. So basically, right now, we're just going to keep with it, stay safe. The helicopter from the California Highway Patrol has turned around already. Uh, they, they're just using their lights and keeping an eye on it. But we're going to stay with it with the camera. And if we see it pull over, we'll, we'll report that. But uh, other than that, it's basically we're going to be watching it go climb up the uh, hillside up here. 
out towards uh, Lake Pyramid. We're passing Castaic right now, or the chase is, and uh, you can see it actually slowing down a little bit. You got uh, even the way he's passing the other cars, so maybe that uh, truck is going to run out of steam here in a little bit. I don't have a shot. Oh, okay. There you And we're uh, on the net, I'm sure, still as well, and we're going to keep an eye on it. You know, if we're on the net, and, and this is just for you guys right now, I'm going to keep, I won't lose it, I promise. But you can see he is slowing down. I, you know, I'm a huge Chevy uh, lover, so, but take a look. That is the darkness. And, of course, you're going to say, oh, you're going to see the freeway. That doesn't, that doesn't help you out. Uh, you need to see a horizon out there. And that is what it looks like out towards, uh, <coughs> up towards, up towards the Castaic area. That's the reason why we cannot fly uh, that distance right now. But you can clearly make out the chase going up the hillside right there, and it's still moving along. Uh, you know, it, uh, that uh, older Chevy, 5.3 liter probably, Vortec motor, I'm, I'm sure it's going go, to go well up that hill. Uh, I was thinking maybe it might overheat or something might go wrong, but apparently this thing is just going to keep on going. Uh, California Highway Patrol, they're going to stay behind it. That's still probably the new haul division of the uh, Highway Patrol using his blinker there. That's the first time I saw that. But uh, frustrating? Of course it is. Um, you know, we wanted to see this thing end as well. We'll keep an eye on it as long as we can. We'll also keep an ear on it. There's a possibility you might turn around and come back down. But uh, I can still see it. We're going to stay here till we can see, can't see it anymore, Tim. Okay. And uh, so anyways, uh, I'm just going to keep watching it. Pretty soon we'll, we'll, these lights will start fading out, and then it'll just be the radio. But uh, I always love the love on the Internet. Sorry we weren't able to get, uh, get with you guys today. Sorry, it was sounded a little frustrating earlier on. It's been a long day up here in, uh, in the helicopter. And, but you know what? The worst day up here is probably the best day anyplace else. Um, so anyways, we're going to keep on watching it, and it seems like it's going to pass up, keep just uh, winding around. Those are hillsides that we can't see it when it goes behind. No problem, Tim. Simon Des, just checking in. All right, copy all. B back to base. And that is the end of that. And uh, we'll be heading back to base. And my pilot was, uh, was working it. Timmy was getting a little exhausted up there, getting a little worried about his points of reference and et cetera, like we were trying to explain to you. Again, I'm telling you, if you're listening on the net and you've got something negative to say or you're thinking something, I am telling you, until you are in his seat, you don't know. You just don't know. And uh, I, you know, I obviously wasn't in a helicopter, but in a plane, I've been in that situation. I know how quickly it happens and how scary it can be. So at any rate, thank you guys for listening, and I wish I had something more for you. And uh, you know I love the love.